Confirmation of this multiple vortex idea came from Neil Ward, working with a physical tornado model at the National Severe Storms Laboratory. In a process known as vortex breakdown, air, which usually moves upward inside a funnel, is pulled downward. Vortex breakdown can lead to multiple vortex development. After vortex breakdown, the outer wall of the tornado becomes thinner. In that thin outer wall, a certain critical value may be reached. When the ratio between the rising or vertical wind speed and the speed of rotation reaches a critical value, multiple vortices are a natural product. The Neil Ward model was perfected at Purdue University in the 1970s. It can produce multiple vortex tornadoes in several forms. With two, three, four, five, and even six multiple suction vortices, allowing for very detailed airflow studies. Here, smoke is entering from the top of the model, revealing the downward movement of air in the center of the multiple vortex.